CataractCoach.com. Traumatic cataract with Tripan Blue, but ah, you have to avoid migration of the dye into the vitreous cavity. Let me show you the case here. This is a tough case. So starting off with a paracentesis and blue dye going in, but look what happens. As you put the blue dye in, where does it go? That huge gap right there. That's the lens equator. That huge gap of zion or loss means all that dye just went into the vitreous cavity. And now look, just from the paracentesis, what's that? Vitreous. So there's already vitreous present on the anterior chamber of the eye. So you can make a main incision here and try to cut some of that prolapse vitreous. That's one way of doing it. You may prefer also next time to put in tripan blue second, but first put in triamcinolone. And then you can see the vitreous prolapse and address that. And then you know not to inject so much tripan blue dye. Remember, the way we like to do it is just paint the blue dye on the eye. So here the surgeon's going to just say, you know what? Close up this case. We can come back. The blue dye will resolve. Here we go. A month later... And now, by the way, let me tell you about Retina Rounds, our sister channel. So much great material. For cataract surgeons like you and me, you can learn how to manage a case like this there. I promise. Now, you saw there was a subtenons block going in here. And now the surgeon is going to come in doing a superior pertomy. Probably going to extract this nucleus with, let's say, SICS maybe. Because that nucleus is pretty loose. So a little bit of light cautery here. Okay. Reasonable. Now, you could do still, you could still do fake on this case, but I think the first step here is I'd like some triamcinolone in the anterior chamber to see how much vitreous prolapse we have. So, again, surgeon's making an incision here in the sclera. Get that done. And then here we go, crescent blade. So, let's see the technique here. Half scleral depth groove. A little bit of a frown incision there. Yes, we've sped up the video. We speed up the video because, remember... Our young viewers, especially those under age 50, the ones in the 30s and 40s, do not want us to throw a whole unedited video. So you can actually slow down the video there on YouTube, click on that little gear symbol, and you can watch it at one quarter speed if you'd like to. So now here comes another incision. Let's see, blue dye again. Again, I just like to paint the blue dye on, not inject it all over the place. And now what do you see? Well, okay, let's get a rexus done. So rexus is being accomplished. That's pretty good, actually. Now we have a very experienced surgeon here. And these traumatic cases are always tough because you never know exactly what you're going to get. And again, with the last case, you're having so much vitreous in the anterior chamber, I would have liked to play some triamcinolone. Here comes the CTR. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm watching the video, by the way, for the first time with you. I clicked through to make sure it was a good video and good focus, etc. But we're watching it together. Now, here you go, using a Sinsky to guide it. And let's see, are you placing the CTR? Mm, nice and... Mm, I don't know. Where's that CTR going? It's partially in, but just, just the tip. Well, are you going to get the CTR in the eye? The whole nucleus, look at that nucleus is moving a lot. So when you place the CTR, again, it, you may want to start off with capsule hooks at the beginning of the case to stabilize the lens as you remove the cataract, stabilize the bag. But here comes the CTR. Oh, not taking it out. Okay, no CTR. You can abate. I don't mind that either. It's okay. You can abandon it. You can do something different. Get rid of the CTR. I've done that before. Now, there's the M6 incision. So the larger scleral tunnel is going to be done here. And if you just have extensive zion loss, more than you think, look at that, just get the whole lens up. Look at that, just grabbing it with two instruments and bringing it up, and the whole thing, there's almost no zion support. So remember, sometimes if you have a lot of vitreous prolapse, you can have a situation where the vitreous is holding the cataract in place. And as you start to remove the vitreous, the nucleus gets farther and farther away from you. So here, doing a bimanual anterior vitrectomy, again, triumphsinolone really, there it is, triumphsinolone, that helps. That looks pretty clean, actually. So take your time here. This patient had a, a basically an intracap surgery. The entire capsule came out with the nucleus. And now, once that's cleaned up, time for the lens. What are we going to do here? Uh, these are lenses I wish we had. We do not have these in the USA, unfortunately. So an iris clip lens. And you can clip this to the back of the iris or the front of the iris. Your choice. And that really holds on nicely. And has patients can have a really nice result here. Again, most of the time, I've seen surgeons do this in clipping it to the back surface of the iris. And let's see what's going to happen. Holding it here with the Budo forceps. Yup, back surface of the iris. Uh, again, the only version of this we have in the USA are the ones for clipping to the anterior surface of the iris and for treatment of ultra high myopia in phakic patients. We have the phakic IOL version of these, or at least we used to. I don't know if they really use much anymore. And so now getting the other one in and then again getting that clip to the iris. And the patient can have a really nice outcome. More triamcinolone. I like that just to make sure. I like that the pupils brought down as well with my call or my stat. And now finish up the case here. Def, I'd put a suture here, but you don't necessarily need to. In my hands, I think a suture would be a little bit more secure, and it'd let me sleep better at night. And this patient's going to have a beautiful outcome. So beautiful case. Woo, tough one for sure. Thank you for sharing it. I do appreciate it, and I like the sutures here at the end. 
So again, I like the take-home lesson. If the case doesn't go as planned, if there's some issue, you can wrap it up and come back a month later. And then, in the meantime, check out RatnaRounds.com. I promise, you're going to love it.